What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you stopping by. Now this video, it's kind of a good video. I like these. I, I like this type of video. Now what modification should you start with on your 5.0? On your Coyote? 2011 and 2018, doesn't matter the year, they're basically all the same, except for the 2018 is just a little bit more dumber and has GDI. Um, so when I bought mine, don't worry, I still have to give you the formal review on it. So when I bought you, when I bought mine, my first plan was intake tune exhaust. That's basically anyone's game plan when they buy a 5.0. Basically anyone. I mean any performance car in general. Intake tune exhaust. That's it. That's what they start with. So when I bought this, the first thing I actually bought right off the bat now it came up Flowmaster mufflers so I bought the pipes cap back exhaust I bought that and then I was like mm, I got sound I need something out of the motor it's not the stock intake box I was like eh whatever so I grabbed air raid the air raid intake then I was driving around I was like mm, needs a little bit more power so I grabbed the tune and I tuned it. And then, oh, another thing is, I grabbed the JLT air oil separator. That's very good for these coyotes because all they do is they dump oil into the intake and it's kind of stupid. It's a dumb design. Ford has dumb it. Ford has, yeah, dumb it for the longest time. But, uh, yeah, I bought the tune, which I like the tune. It's not bad. I haven't used the race tune yet, but uh, that's... A lot of people start off with that. Now, my goal with this is possibly supercharged, turbo, or pro charge. But I don't know how to get into that, and I'll probably get into that soon. But the number one modification, I mean, but the number one modifications to start out with are the intake, the tune, and the exhaust. Very popular. Very popular. First thing is basically done to any car, any performance car. You're always going to do it no matter what. Now, more modifications that I'm probably going to be doing down the road is I want to get a Boss 302 intake, which um, a lot of people are like, eh, don't do that. But I'm just, honestly, if I might pro charge it or turbo it, it's basic. I have the intake, you can allow more air in. I want to get higher performance injectors, 47 pound full performance injectors. Um, and the throttle body. I forget the millimeter on the throttle body, but it's a little bit bigger throttle body. And then after, honestly, after I tune that, oh, an ACT clutch. Definitely, I want to get a twin disc clutch. It's $1,100. And I still have my stock clutch, and it only has under 20K on it. It's got 19,948. So it's about to hit 20K soon. But uh, definitely clutch. That is actually probably next on my list to start with before I do the manifold and all that. So, clutch is another thing on the heavy mods that people usually do first. Uh, drive shaft. I have a one-piece drive shaft. I have it when I bought that. It's from the drive shaft shopper or whatever it was called. But, yeah, I have the drive shaft. Oh, shifters. Let's talk about shifters. Now, I definitely do the Barton short throw shifter with the two-post bracket. Uh, cleans up the shifting perfectly. Never have an issue. It's a little bit tougher. Make sure you got that boot on right so it's not in a reverse chamber and you're stuck. But, Barton short throw shifter with a two post bracket. You got your intake, you got your exhaust, your tune. I know I added more, I apologize. But, yeah, that's basically what you should start out with. And then decide your game plan. If you want to supercharge it, don't worry about the ball shoot to intake at first. Uh, if you want to pro charge it, that's your. Uh, that's it's a belt. It's basically a belt driven turbo. Um, you can upgrade the. I mean, I like a pro charger, honestly, because you can upgrade the manifold. You can upgrade the throttle body, uh, still, and you can upgrade a. You can upgrade a lot of shit. But uh, now, if you want to do a supercharger, like a Roush supercharger, I would. Uh, I wouldn't really touch the manifold or the throttle body because uh, you're only going to be getting a whole different system. You're going to get a basically brand new intake, but it's a supercharged intake. You 
going to get the uh, throttle body for the supercharger. You're going to get an air filter for it. If you're supercharging, you're better off just waiting until you have the money to buy the supercharger. Roush is pretty extensive, but it's basically like factory equipment. Roush and Ford are hand in hand. Um, but as modifications wise, that's when you first buy the car and take to an exhaust. That's basically how it always is. Make sure it can breathe, make sure it can exhale, and make sure it can run right. That is your first goal. When you take them out and you're getting these tunes in there, only 93 octane or whatever highest octane you can. Keep the, keep the fuel clean, clean and powerful. And then what you should also do is get spark plugs. I have uh, iridiums in here, I forget the brand, but I had to get them because they had NGKs but someone gapped them so low don't know why gapped them so low it was way out of spec it's like 0.050 and it i took them out and spec them it was like 0.02 that made honestly zero sets but um definitely uh definitely upgrade your spark plugs and make sure you're using good fuel now make sure you change the oil regularly make sure you are on top of that ball now, I have full synthetic. Full synthetic is good for 7,000 miles. What I do it is, I change my full synthetic oil change in 4,500. Only because I'm beating on it, I'm trashing the gears, I'm always getting our, have her at the high revolutions, I gotta be on point with it. You're not on point with your motor, your motor, your motor ain't gonna be on point with you. And let me tell you something, these motors, these Coyotes, oh, hey, it's a lot of money to maintain these things. You crack this block open, I mean crack it open like take it apart, uh, you're gonna be running some big money. That's why I was very scared when I had to leave the PCV and I'm watching this thing smoke at the tailpipes. So I was like, oh my God, I smoked, I smoked the valve seals. But uh, I didn't, luckily, luckily it just cleared itself up. It choked the other side and threw oil right inside the uh, intake and covered the plugs. But that's cleared up now, I gotta get a air oil separator for the other side but I might put my breathers back on but I don't want to go down that road again um, but yeah I know I'm ranting but it's stuff that you should take from me what I've learned and what I've done because I'm kind of stupid and when I start digging into a car I try to tweak it as much as I can as fast as I can but uh, sometimes it's good just to take it slow upgrade it slowly Make sure you have the right funds, make sure you have the right money, and just, uh, just take your time with it. Trust me, main, maintenance is key. Maintenance is very key. Make sure your trans fluid is good. If you have a manual one, if you have a manual one, make sure your manual fluid is good. Uh, you can use oil pumper, you can use stock fluid. Now, when your automatic transmissions, I know Ford has a lot of issues with the automatic transmissions. A lot of issues. They're not very good. Like they're not. Oh, dude, a bird shit around like that. Yeah. But I gotta clean this thing, dude. That's. Oh, dude, that's a thick shark. That's a thick shark, brother. I'm gonna wipe her from. Can't even get it off. But well, whatever. I don't really care. But take it slow. Learn as you go. No, don't learn as you go. Take from me. I, I can't say that. Take it from me. From a guy who nearly blew up a $7,000 motor, $10,000 brand new. Take it slow. Listen to what I'm saying. Every other mod, every other person who's modded their car, they'll probably say the same thing. Take it slow. Learn what you're gonna put on it. Put it on right. Put on the good shit. Yep, that's, that's it. That's the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. Listen and learn. Two of the best things you can do in your life. Catch you sometime soon. Hopefully we can get like a live video out where Tom's in and we're just doing stupid stuff. But uh, thank you for stopping by and enjoy your day.